Greybeard here. Ready to do another ride. Let's get it going. I'm already halfway to where I normally go. I'm trying to make the video shorter. Figure we'd take a little trip around this little neighborhood first. but I've always liked this little area. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. I should have turned up that road. We can turn up this one now. The sharp uh, left, I mean right hook. <laughs> kind of forks out with the main road. Used to be a really cool looking Fierro Park back behind where we just passed. Not sure where I'm at. are already starting to fall. It's dead ends. I think I can hear the train. It's not too far from here. Yeah, it's been ages since I've been out with this little road here. Like uh, 15 years or so. Just filled up the tank though. It's pretty around here though. Yeah, most of these houses are pretty old too. I'd say the majority of them were made in the 20s and 30s. Some of them even before. If you watch my videos for more than a couple minutes. these handlebars were just a little higher. The sun's up bright this evening. I did my last video about the same time of day. I swear it seems brighter today. Weird. Freaking weird. Get just about everywhere you go, you're down in a valley somewhere. Especially on one of these because these don't want to go up those steep hills. 
the one you see in front of you in the background is the East River Mountain, of course. Yeah, these videos uh, really don't do it any justice. cooled off a little bit it gets pretty cool at night you'd think that would slow down on the bugs but I still feel them pinging me in the face one was about a quarter inch lower it would have got me in the mouth <laughs> day to be riding though <clears throat> not too hot not too cold it's just about right Right there to the left is where I started my last video. Fingers are already trying to go to sleep. <coughs> What's weird is my right hand, I mean my left hand is trying to do it a little bit too. I got 241 kilometers on it right now. Need to hurry up and get it to a thousand. That's when I'll start doing all the mods. There's a couple I can do real quick when it hits a thousand. Real quick and easy. I can either snip a wire, and that's kind of a gamble, or I can uh, buy an unrestricted CDI, which is like 20 bucks or less. I think I've seen them for like 10 bucks. But uh, yeah, they're in that ballpark, which I'll probably do. And if that doesn't work, then I'll figure out which wire to snip. But uh, then a carburetor, I thought about doing that anyway. The only thing about carburetors is 
it's a it's kind of a gamble <clears throat> and if you get a really well known one then they're they start getting expensive and then all the others they can get down to like below 20 bucks and then you might be able to get a good one for that you might get a terrible one for that but I've been told most of these Kimco's that's the first thing you want to do to them is uh, change out the car I've uh, looked at them on uh, Amazon and places and in the reviews they, people say they notice more power right off the bat. I hate that I don't have too many uh, routes I can take. I say if I get this uh, built up a little bit, I can probably take some different routes. I hope that sun ain't as blinding on the video. I'm wearing my riding shades and it's bright. The only thing is if I flip my, I got a tinted shield I can flip down from this little helmet and it blocks the sun but then it makes it harder to see everything else. Cause then I'm double tinted. That's pretty good, this thing holding 27 at that steepest part of that hill. I see one cow. I'm thinking about going all the way. Making the full loop like I used to do. Well, this thing goes almost as fast as that uh, big mini does on top end. And it looks pretty dead. Let's go for it. Speed limit's 25 on this little ramp anyway. And I'm already doing it. Get a little better look at East River too. One of these days I want to catch it when the clouds are going over it and pouring off like a slow motion waterfall. I guess I'd go ahead and take you up into the uh, the pack. The friggin' pack. on this place that probably says it right there on that little sign no nope. well I 
I can do the speed limit up through here. I'm actually speeding. Speed limit's 15 if you didn't notice the sign. Feels good up through here, especially when you hit these really shady spots. because of the view. There's all kinds of people out here practicing sports. Clunkety clunk noise is my uh, top case. That's a rough little road there. saw the uh, blue light special going down 460. Gotta watch the grass. Well, here they need to sweep that up. So I'll try not to speed too much. I guess that's about 10 over. <laughs> yeah, I'm really tempted. There's a, if you look right here, you'll see like a little bridge right there and it's a path. It goes up in the, up over that hill. I'd like to take Thumper up through there. That's a no-no though. <laughs> I'd still like to do it. <laughs> I think I'd have fun with Thumper on that hill. trash out there either that or just fell off our truck around here you got a lot of broken down vehicles from rusting <coughs> use a lot of salt on the roads and junk and uh yeah uh, a lot of them don't even have tailgates over the brand new bridge or the refurbished whatever it looks brand new though I don't think they just refurbished it <coughs> I'll pull over 
check something out here in a minute. Get us somewhere where I can pull over real good and have a good place to pull it up on the mechanic stand. Starting to notice something like a t -t 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 noise. I haven't really checked my gear oil. I was fixing to do that pretty soon. I mean, uh, change it out, change out the oil. I think it said 300 miles, 300 kilometers, one or the other. I was gonna go with kilometers. nothing or anything but I hear it and I don't remember hearing it before you know I mean like last couple times I've rode it I've started here noticing it might have noticed me mention it in a earlier video I'd like to have one of them paddle things but when I go to hit my front brake it wants to make me gas it when I go to squeeze the brake it also pushes down on that paddle and if I lower the paddle to where that doesn't happen then I have to really put a twist in my wrist to actually operate the paddle which kind of def defeats the purpose I'll get to show you something here in a minute. I was tinkering with the top case, holding it. Make sure it doesn't, it wasn't that making the noise, which it isn't. like the sun's starting to set a little earlier now. <clears throat> Might ought to check my belt. Could be the daggum belt. Haven't been particularly easy on it going up these real steep hills. Looks like he did something here. Yeah, I think they did. It very well could be like a little strand of belt trying to fray off and smacking around in there. Back on hand, the right hand, my throttle hand trying to go to sleep on me. Yeah, I'm fixing to, uh, <coughs> I bought this tool that's supposed to bolt onto the bolt holes that hold the variator cover on. I'll have to alter it to make it work on this one. fixing to try to do that there's got to be some way to straighten it out you know to to work for me
was thinking about uh, getting a high flow air filter. Oh yeah, and they uh, opened this uh, little bridge up. If you watched my whole videos, you know, from beginning to end, I've run up on this bridge a couple times at the end of my videos and all kinds of construction equipment here and it, both times it looked like the bridge was done. Maybe there's a little bit of stuff underneath that you can't see that they needed to finish. She's idling right now. down this little hill here. Dang, Dairy Queen's already closed. I guess they close at six or seven, something like that. There's the new Dollar General. I imagine you can see it in the uh, shot. Yeah, that's, they could have patched that a little bit better than that. Of course, a lot of times when they first patch it, it's nice and smooth. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, we're at 27. <laughs> Dang, there's a lot of traffic. It's Sunday evening. I guess everybody getting out of, or no fixing to go to church, I guess. So yeah, I guess I better go ahead and cut the video off here. We're already approaching uh, 28 minutes. And uh, hopefully you liked this video. And if you did, please hit like, subscribe, and share the crap out of it.